Evidence that Russia is using Iranian jet-powered Shad-238 kamikaze drones to strike targets in Ukraine has emerged. The Shad-238 is derived from the Shad-136, which Russian forces have already been using for more than a year. If this proves to be the case, as the war zone previously explored in detail, the Shad 238's increased speed over its propeller engine predecessors and other additional capabilities present serious new challenges for Ukrainian air defenses. Pictures that are said to show the remains of a Shad 238, or a variant or derivative thereof, that was launched at a target in Ukraine, appeared on social media earlier today. Where and when the debris was recovered and whether or not the drone hit its intended target are unknown. A telegram channel, which says an officer in the armed forces of Ukraine runs it, appears to be the first to share the images. The debris seen in the images looks to include multiple white-colored portions of the drone's body, including what appears to be the drone's top-mounted engine intake. There is also what appears to be a small jet turbine and a control unit of some kind. The only visible exterior markings are MJO or MJ0 written on a part of the body. The original poster of the images on Telegram notes that Russian Shad-136 kamikaze drones, which Russia calls Jiren-2 and is now assembled locally, had been seen with alphanumeric markings that begin with M and posits that the J here could stand for jet. Examples of the Shad 238 have been seen with markings beginning with just J. However, it is also worth noting that Shad 136 Jiren 2 drones have only ever been seen with their markings on their wingtips, not on their bodies. The war zone has been unable to independently verify the provenance of the images of the apparent Shad 238 wreckage recovered in Ukraine. However, last month, a Russian military officer, identified as Major General Vladimir Popov, reportedly told state-run Sputnik TV that examples of a jet-powered version of the Jiren 2 were on their way. Iran only publicly unveiled the Shad 238 in September of last year, and you can read more about what is known about the design in depth here. In his December interview with Sputnik TV, Major General Popov claimed the jet-powered Jiren 2's drones had a top speed of 800 km per hour, just under 500 miles per hour. The basic Shad 136 Jiren 2 reportedly has a cruising speed of 180 km per hour, around 111 miles per hour, as well as a maximum range of 2000 km, 1240 miles. At the time of writing, the Iranian government does not appear to have released claimed performance details about the Shad 238. Even if the Shad 238's top speed is less of what Popov claimed previously, it could still easily be much faster than its predecessor. The jet-powered drone's configuration is also widely expected to trade range for speed, compared to the Shad 136. The Shad 238 might be configured to carry more fuel, but this could come at the cost of other payloads, such as the size of the warhead. The Shad 238 would, of course, be able to traverse the distance to its intended target, whatever that might be, faster than a propeller-powered design.
this, in turn, would reduce the amount of time defenders would have to try to intercept it or otherwise react. When it comes to drone defense, in addition to more traditional assets, Ukraine relies heavily on largely ad hoc mobile teams to provide additional capacity. These units race in action based on a variety of data sources, including eyewitness sightings fed into an alert system via telegram, and use very rudimentary capabilities to spot and target uncrewed aerial threats. You can read more about all of this here. The increased speed of the SHAD 238 would also simply increase the difficulty of spotting, tracking, and engaging the drone, to begin with. Smaller drones inherently present challenging targets for defenders, especially at night, and other features of the new Iranian jet-powered kamikaze drone may only compound these difficulties. It could also increase demand for higher-end air defenses, which are already heavily in demand, to tackle the drone threat. This in turn could increase concerns about the strains on those forces and Ukraine's stocks of relevant munitions. Versions of the SHAD 238 could have a secondary surveillance capability, although with major trade-offs in terms of their concept of operations, as well. Russia has significantly stepped up drone and missile strikes on Ukraine in recent weeks. At the same time, Ukrainian forces regularly claim to be shooting down large numbers of Russian shot-type drones, as well as incoming cruise missiles.